just want to show something relating to SD cards that people may not be aware of. Today I accidentally used the wrong card. Um, this card was the one I used up at the lake the other day which didn't produce any photos or videos when I got home, it was all corrupt. Today it's just done the same with a couple of videos of a villa. So the, the, look at the quality on that. <laughs> Absolutely useless. So you think it was completely a waste of time. But what I've done is run it through with an SD recovery program. Um, this, this is what photos look like when they're corrupt. But as you can see, I've already managed to recover some photos that I took with the GoPro. Um, I have not seen these photos um, until today because I got home and it just didn't work. The SD card has to be reformatted. Um, it was completely frustrating because you can see it's quite an interesting place to be. Um, but now I've got this little bit of software running and it's already recovered 309 files. Now what will be interesting, because this was a new SD card, if I find that other people's stuff is on there, um, I'll be contacting the guy that sold them to me, because I bought three cards from him, and two of them are knackered. Um, they're just useless, because I originally got them just for the um, Raspberry Pi, just so I could put different flavours of uh, operating systems on there, and they won't work on it. Um, and they don't work in my GoPro and they don't work in my phone, so uh, they're not very good quality, that's all I can say on that. But the, this software here, oh, well, I won't let me move it, is actually recovering everything off the SD card. Bit of a warning for some people, if you've got sensitive files, and not on about your uh, midnight dates, although don't put them on there either, um, but if you've got things like emails, bank data, anything on your SD card, it can be recovered. The software I'm using will actually recover anything that's been on there. Um, so if you do think, well, I'll sell my phone, sell your phone, take your SD card and keep it. Um, you really do not want this data um, getting into the wrong hands. And one of the things I do as well as I transfer my secure data off the phone, um, because obviously a phone's got some internal memory. I haven't actually tried recovering from an internal phone, but you can do it as well. There is software, you can do it with um, like Android, if you code break it, you can get in there and recover from everything that's been on the phone as well. So you're being warned, be very careful where you leave your data, be very careful that the fact that if you do sell it on or whatever, you could have some sensitive data in there you don't want other people having. And personally, I'd advise not using it for all the stuff we could get and getting told we should be doing, linking all your accounts together, etc. So that when one hacks one, they hack all of them because they can use the same data from one to the other to get pretty much in everything. Anyway, thanks for watching.